Hey guys, I'm Nick Gray, and this here is the Huawei P10. Now, with the recent launch of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the LG G6, you may have forgotten about this device. It was launched back at Mobile World Congress way back in February. Now, this isn't a full review of the Huawei P10, but rather an in-depth look at the camera capabilities offered by this device. The dual camera is comprised of a 20 megapixel monochrome and 12 megapixel RGB sensor with OIS, face detection, and laser autofocus with f2.2 Leica lenses. While there are plenty of smartphone cameras with dual sensors on the market, Huawei's approach is unique since it uses the information from both sensors in nearly every shot. The data from the monochrome sensor is used to improve light sensitivity, help calculate distance to later manipulate the background blur in your shots, or it can simply be used on its own to capture amazing black and white photos. But I'm not here to talk about specs, since a spec sheet doesn't always tell you how a device performs in the real world. So let's get started. If all you want to do is capture random photos and the occasional selfie, this phone won't disappoint. But it will also satisfy advanced users with its built-in pro mode and advanced features enabled by the dual camera sensors. The B10 hits all the right marks when it comes to snapping a quick photo. The face detection and laser autofocus allow the phone to capture quick pictures, and the OIS helps keep them blur-free, while also reducing the hand movement jitters that you typically get while recording video. This means that most pictures you capture are typically in focus, and since the P10 digitally enhances every shot by infusing light data from the monochrome sensor with the color data from the RGB sensor, the exposure and saturation are pretty much always on point. But what makes this phone's camera special is that the combined information from the two sensors gives the camera better dynamic range, and not in the HDR kind of way. Dark areas of your photos are brighter with more detail, and lighter spots are slightly darker. This means that you can take a picture in bright daylight and get the detail of the environment without the sky or even the clouds getting blown out. If you're a fan of highly saturated images, the P10 may not be the perfect phone for you. The camera app has a standard, vivid, and smooth color settings which are accessible right within the viewfinder, but even with the vivid setting turned on, the pictures aren't as punchy as what you'd get from Samsung's phones. This definitely won't be an issue for those who are looking for a flatter image that can be edited later on, but if you're not willing to put in a little bit of extra time to bring the photos to life, they can come off as a bit dull. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The muted colors mean that brighter colors like yellows and oranges are properly represented, allowing the photos that you take to more accurately represent what you see with your naked eye. In low light, the P10 can definitely handle its own. But the dual sensors don't live up to the promise of capturing exponentially more light than what you get with the iPhone or even other flagship Android devices. Nighttime shots do turn out good for the most part, but there's a little bit too much grain for our taste. And the optical image stabilization often can't compensate for the extra milliseconds that the shutter stays open. This means you'll have a blurry shot from time to time, but that's nothing that snapping a second picture can't fix. If you have an extremely steady hand or a place to prop up your phone, there is a night shot preset mode, which captures multiple long exposure shots and stitches them together. This will actually produce a brighter image than what you can see with your naked eye. But I have to stress that you do need to keep the phone completely motionless since the exposures range from 2 up to 20 seconds. Unlike some competing devices, the dual sensor camera on the P10 isn't a one-trick pony. Since the lenses feature the same focal length, Huawei is able to use them to calculate the depth information and digitally manipulate the aperture in your shots. The feature needs to be turned on manually, but once it is, you can select your subject and then use the on-screen slider to change the f-stop. The effect doesn't always work perfectly, at times producing weird edges when the depth information isn't calculated properly. But for the most part, the images turn out good. And if you don't like the final results, you can always change the focal point or the blur effect at a later time from within the gallery. The third feature made possible by the phone's dual sensors is true black and white photography. Sure, most smartphones can add black and white filters to the images that you capture, but there's just something special about the way that the monochrome photos from the P10 actually turn out. 
Whenever I'm snapping pictures with this phone, I find myself switching over to the monochrome mode on a regular basis, something that I never do on other smartphones, unless I'm applying a black and white filter to a photo that I'm uploading to Instagram. Like any other smartphone these days, the P10 also has a number of presets which allow for panoramic shots, long exposures, HDRs, and various other filters. My personal favorite is the long exposure options, which use a variety of different techniques to deliver light painting, water blur, and even star trails. I'm not gonna cover much regarding the phone's video capabilities, but I will say the quality of the picture and the audio is decent with exposure, white balance, and saturation typically matching the environment. The only complaint I have is that 4K video capture uses the H.265 codec, which isn't supported by YouTube, Google Photos, and pretty much every other online video sharing service. This makes it nearly impossible to share the 4K videos that you capture and makes it hard even to edit on your computer. Other than that, the video recording capabilities of the P10 are perfectly fine and even fun at times when you use the 120 frames per second slow motion capture. As for the front facing camera, Huawei's thrown in an 8 megapixel sensor which is paired with an f1.8 lens. Suffice to say, shooting selfies with this thing is extremely enjoyable. The quality of this front facing camera is exceptional and Huawei has even thrown in a portrait mode which is a toned down version of the beauty mode which you see on a lot of other devices. It clears up your skin and adds a soft glow to the image, but it doesn't give you that hideous airbrush look that's become so common these days. There's even an artistic effects toggle, which mimics the background blur effect enabled by the dual sensor camera on the back of the phone. Like most other smartphones, the cameras on the Huawei P10 do have their flaws. Low light performance could be a little bit better, and a lot of people would probably want their images to be a little bit more saturated. That being said, this is one of my favorite smartphones to take pictures with right now. And that's mainly due to the dual camera sensor on the back. Now being able to blur out the background in your photos is cool, but I honestly can't stress how much I enjoy taking monochrome photos with this device. And with that, I'd like to know what your take is on the P10's camera, and if you think the dual sensor setup is the right fit for you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, or just check out one of my other videos. Thanks for watching.